I want to uh, find the amount of uh, books that I have to read per week. So this program provides me two types of calculators. And as it says right here, please choose between which calculator you want to use. Choice one would be the GPA calculator and choice two would be the book calculator. And depending on your situation, please type one or two. So in this case, I want to use the book one. And I'm going to type two. So after typing two, there's a number amount of books I want to read. So how many books are there I want to read? Five books. And what is the information? So it's going to ask me the book title at first. And for book title, I'm going to enter Avengers. And it's going to ask me the amount of pages this has. I'm going to say 345. And then um, it's going to ask me the amount of weeks I want to read this in. I want to read this in five weeks. So, And then it's going to do that for every other book. So book two, book three, book four. So it will ask me for a multiple, the multiple amount of books, but or how, or how much you put in. So going on, it would be <clears throat> curious George, and and it has like uh, two, three, four, and I want to read this in four weeks, and another book. Thor, I want to read this. This has 789 pages, and I want to read this in three weeks. And book title for number four. Uh, just five, six, seven. I want to read this in three. And I just, this is the last book, but in my case, this is the last book, but it could go on for however many books the person put. So, yes. Four and I want to read this in one week. So, um, it's gonna sort the book by which book has the most amount of pages. So it's gonna list the name and it's gonna list the weeks and then it's gonna list the amount of pages. So for the first one, it has since it has the most amount of pages, it's gonna be on top and it just goes in an ascending order after that. And that's just goes for the rest of the books and it's pretty much it for the book part. But if you want to use the other part of the calculator, you're gonna have to reset the program. So now we see the program and gives us a choice again. We're back here. So in this case, now we want to use the GPA calculator. So if I want to use the GPA calculator, I'm going to type in one. <clears throat> so then, and then in this GPA calculator, it's going to ask me how many students are in the class. I have to type in a set amount of numbers. So for instance, in my case, there are four students in this class. And I have to enter the GPA per student. So first person has a 4.0. 3.0, 2.0, and then 1.0. And then it will use the amount of numbers that I provided to create a a uh, find the average, find the average calculator, which is pretty nice. But for for the book calculator, going back to that one. There is a try and catch system, so if the user tries to put in something like around zero, the program will tell us an invalid number, and it has they have to enter a positive number, and it will it will result in a reset of the program, which the user has to restart again and type in a actual valid number. So in this case, any number for the bug program, any number above one is considered valid so one itself is valid but any number one or above has to be a number and that just goes for the case of the book calculator and for the gpa calculator um there's not really a choice so you type in one student it's just going to print out only one student so there it prints out out however it will still run the math equation or the method that was set, even though there's not an equal amount of division for, or there's not even a division for students to even find the average because there's only one student. But this is the, these are the calculators and of the program.